Hey, what's happening, beer world? Rajay, back again. Take a look at another beer. Thanks for swinging by. Check out another video. Going to take a look at one from Samuel Adams. This is actually going to be the Neighbor Reno Flanders Red Ale. So this is a sour Flanders Red Ale that comes in at 6.3 ABV. Also, 10 IBU. It's a long shot series. If you're not familiar with it, it was actually a home brewing competition held by Samuel Adams. The three final finalists were actually awarded a six pack of their beers so they got whatever the final beer was two of them for each one into a nice six pack this one was actually one submitted by colin foy out of ohio and like i said it is a sour red ale let's go ahead and get this baby open and get it into a glass and check it out and as you can see it pours into the glass with a nice dark I guess you can say amber color very red ale deep dark color lots of carbonation taking place when you get it to the light and you can see a little bit through there to get the carbonation not much of a chill haze but it actually is darker from the top half up when you get down to the bottom you get a little more light that pierces through and see if I can get this up here where you can see some of the carbonation actually taking place but uh, see if the camera zooms in but there is a lot of lively carbonation going on inside the beer itself and then on the head head says pretty much off-white kind of that bone white color does have a nice sudsiness to it as well and pretty decent looking for what you would expect to have on a red ale the one thing that does blow, blow me away on that appearance though when I get that light behind it is all of the carbonation taking place so highly active on the carbonation um, from what I'm seeing there. Let's see if that kicks over in the taste as well. As far as the aroma, yeah, you get that big tartness coming out. You almost have like that uh, cherry type flavor that I'm getting on the notes coming out of the beer. It's going to be something of what I would expect to have a nice fruitiness to it. Um, with all the tartness I'm actually smelling on the aroma, I'm expecting to have maybe a little bit of a harshness in there because it really is coming out without anything to really settle down the uh, the sourness of it. But a nice berry type smell, although really it is kind of that deep cherry type note that I'm actually picking up the most of. And again, it just screams tartness coming out of the glass as far as the taste. Very tart. Um, I do get a little bit of that harshness going down on the back end but it does open up with some nice flavors in the beginning the initial taste isn't too bad at all a cherry like type flavor does get off the tongue nicely and get up into the cheek area so I got some nice mouth feel some nice tingling taking place this one's sitting more as a medium body type beer not very thin so I like that you know a lot of the tart beers I'll usually have I think they taste like now and laters or sometimes sweet tarts this one doesn't really have that it's kind of got a different type of essence about it but it's not as much of a sting on the back end it's more of the harshness that you get going down it's more from the carbonation I would say the carbonation is a little more lively than one may be ready for or expect to have on this after two or three or four drinks, you, like right now I'm getting that urge to burp. I'm gonna muffle that so you don't have to hear me do that. But it sits okay on the tongue. I mean, if you're a sour fan, I think you would be kind of okay with this one. It's not one that may knock you back fully compared to some of the other ones that are out there that I've had, but it does meet the criteria of what you would wanna have in a sour type beer. Um, it's got that kind of that liquid tartness, that um, sour kind of bite on it that most people that like sours really tend to enjoy. I think for me the big thing is kind of the carbonation. It's just ramped up a little bit more than what I would like. But I do like how the flavors get around. Like I said, and I feel on the back end a little more harsh than I would like as well. And that's more from the carbonation than anything with an aftertaste. Um, outside of that, 
I mean, the meat's what you want to have, and the sours, as I mentioned. So, not too bad. On the bottle, it talks about this Flanders Red was brewed the traditional way with younger beer blended with mature beer that has been aged in wood for several months while bread and mices and lactobacillus labor to produce fruity, tart, and acidic flavors. So you do get all of that. You get kind of that, like I said, a cherry, the fruitiness. You get that heavy tart. And yeah, on that back end, that harshness, I guess you can say is kind of that acidic type um, flavor that you're getting as well in there too. So again, if you're not a huge Sours fan, this one may not be one to actually meet your liking, but if you do like Sours, you'll probably be okay with this one. And at 6.3%, it's not too bad. And I, I talked about the other candies, the Sweet Tart, the Now Later. This actually now reminds me of, like, say, a Cherry Lifesaver. But all in all, not bad. Congratulations to uh, Colin Foy for making a cut. And again, right out of Ohio, which is the state right across the border from me. So nice to see that. But again, that is the Neighbor Reno Flanders Red Ale. If you happen to uh, see it out there, you want to check it out, give it a swirl. Especially, like I said, if you like sour beers. But, you know, definitely one I can go ahead and finish doing this. It does have a little bit of a refreshing quality to it. It's not one I would probably want to have a few of just because of that sour tartness. But definitely one I can kick back and enjoy, especially um, if I'm out sitting out on the deck relaxing. And I want, like, kind of a refreshing type beer. Um this one can actually fit that need as well well with that being said i appreciate you swinging by to check out another video i look forward to catching that a lot on the other ones as always please remember to like comment subscribe and share and all that good jazz keep drinking good craft beers and i'll see you next time cheers